Fans were celebrating the Cubs' big win. The team World Series bound the sign outside Wrigley Field. Take a look. It says it all. National League champions. And look at this. Champagne showers in the locker room as players celebrated this in the clubhouse as well. I, I got to say, I stayed up for this game. I got about three hours of sleep, but I'm pretty sure that people in Chicago still aren't sleeping. Oh, I'm sure. And this <laughs> says it all right here. Here's the headline from the Chicago Tribune. Got their goat, a reference to the Cubs curse. It's been 71 years since they went to the World Series and more than a century since they last won one. ABC's Alex Perez is outside Wrigley Field with more on this historic win. And Alex, this is your hometown. Yeah, that's right. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Paula. You know, I grew up in this city and we have been waiting much longer than I've been alive for this moment. You can still feel the energy here from the crowds that were here. And you know, all across the city, fans everywhere are proudly flying the W. It's been a long time coming. On the field and in the streets. The city knows how to have fun. Chicago is celebrating a historic Step night after 71 years of painful disappointment. Wrigley Field is flying the W as the Cubs head to the World Series. The Cubs is snatching their first National League pennant since 1945 when famous fan Dorothy Farrell was just 19 years old. Today, she's 90 and she plans to celebrate just as hard. How are you going to celebrate tonight? I probably have a Jägermeister. <laughs> Joe Madden. Last night, the Cubs is shutting out the Los Angeles Dodgers and walking off with a five-run lead. Chicago wearing down the Dodgers star pitcher Clayton Kershaw and grabbing an early lead with two runs in the first inning. While the Cubs' Kyle Hendricks is struck out six batters before their closer vanquished the curse of the GOAT with this double play. I pitched all year. I'm sleeping with this thing tonight. Are you kidding me? We're going to the World Series. Fans in the stands hugging it out and breaking down in tears. And as much as we want to celebrate, the truth is the next challenge is right around the corner. Game one of the World Series, Tuesday night versus the Cleveland Indians. The Indians haven't been at the series since 1997. So, uh, Paula and Tom, I'm going to take a moment to uh, do something I probably wanted to do a long time ago so who knows when it's going to happen again so i'm going to do it now yeah don't totally hold your breath that. don't hold yeah. your breath because it's it's a long time it's my lucky coming. hat that's lucky right hat. all right alex <laughs> thank you so much and joining us now is espn's tony reale tony you know fans they don't know how to process this because the last time they were in the World Series, a lot of people weren't even alive. I love this uh, tweet from John Cusack. He said, it feels, it's very hard to describe what this feels like. Cubs fans, <laughs> help me out. They don't know how to process it. So you're asking me to describe the indescribable. Describe the indescribable. Thank you very much. Let me put it this way. The last time the Cubs were in the World Series, 1945, there was no moving video of the game. The game was not televised. What we showed the Chicago Tribune headline, that black and white photo, yeah. is all we've got. So it's an incredible thing. And... That was before baseball was integrated, before there was a Los Angeles Dodgers or a New York Mets or any number of teams in the league. That's how far back this goes. And the ticket prices for that game in 1945? Oh, gosh, you're going to kill us. About $6 or so. Six bucks. Now nice. you can't get into Wrigley next week for anything less than 2000 Wow. Okay, so there's a little bit of a bias this morning with Alex and Paula for the Cubs, but this is a big year for the Indians as well. Sure. If it wasn't for Chicago, we'd be talking about Cleveland. That's, that's a franchise that hasn't won the World Series since 1948. And to make things even more interesting for this city, Cleveland now thinks they're Believeland after what happened with LeBron James in the NBA Finals this year. Now, I'll tell you this, game one of the World Series is Tuesday, right across the street, one hour earlier, ring night for the Cleveland Cavaliers. They're going to be donned as champions in the NBA season, so that's going to be a big night in Cleveland. Yeah, no doubt there's a lot of good things happening in Cleveland, but we're talking about the two longest uh, franchises, uh, for droughts rather, for these particular franchises, who's favored to win? Chicago's favored to win. They won 103 games this year, and they're the best team in baseball, but it's almost like a movie. But even in the movies, Back to the Future <laughs> and Major League, it took the sequel for both of these teams to get their World Series appearance. It's amazing. It's incredible. I love what you said earlier. This is the first time the Cubs will be in the World Series on a live broadcast, a live TV broadcast. Yeah. It's been a long We're time. We're going to be able to watch history. Yeah, All right, yeah. Tony Reale, thank you so much.